Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is for Gems, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for October, Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, you've had a few cards fall out so far. Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, the Star card, the Moon, and the Emperor. Okay, let's start off with the Eight of Cups, shall we? This is about going on a journey or a quest or seeking something deeper. Now, a lot of you are going to be feeling this. It's going to be heightened for you during the time of October. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is an elderly figure that's going to be the catalyst for this change. I'm not sure if you have someone looking out for you here or an emperor. This could be a significant person. It is someone under the sign of an Aries. We do also have an Aquarius or Cancer, which correlates here. So I'm not sure if someone is going to spark some sort of change within you, Gemini. Now, you are going to change as a person because this is a lot of emotional change. You've got one, two, three, four cups cards here. This is all about emotions, sentimentality, your relationships, anything that evokes emotion within you. I feel like you're walking away from that. You could also be walking away from someone who is the emperor, who has been intimidating, who hasn't given you much in return, Gemini, whether this is a male or a female person. They, they, they contrast starkly, these two cards, this first column. So I think if someone has been not giving you much, because you can see the barren land around him, if someone hasn't been giving you much, like a manager hasn't been giving you much praise or movement or acknowledgement or credit, or a loved one isn't giving you much attention, or you, you feel like you can't break through their barriers, maybe they're still attached to their ex, you're actually going to be moving on from this person. So you are walking away from a significant, significant emotional attachment. Could also be a water sign that's walking away from you or is needing time away. But it could also speak of a spiritual journey because what are you walking into? You're walking into the tree of life, the four of cups. This is you finally understanding or seeing things for what they really are. This is all the veils being lifted off you, Gemini. And you, you, you finally have the answers. You finally understand why they left, why you're wanting to leave, why there's a departure, why there's a quest for, you know, or there's a hunger to pursue through wanderlust or travel but this is a lot of epiphanies and realizations that are coming in around you with the four of cups in particular it can be a water sign now for a lot of you it can be something to do um, with a motherly figure or a motherly friend or someone from your past or someone um, that is under the sign of a cancer that you have emotional codependency towards but look back to that four of cups energy i feel like it's displaying here that there's there's some some sort of offering or some sort of uh, event or circumstance or there's a catalyst that's going to change you as a person but it's also going to change you emotionally and the tree of life signifies important changes and growth okay a lot of internal growth that's going to happen for you in October there's a lot of perspective happening okay I'm not sure if you've previously walked away from a relationship Gemini um, or something that was emotionally you know affecting you you're actually going to assess it, okay? Think about it very differently with the Four of Cups. There could also be a water sign, uh, an Aquarius, Cancer, and Aries that's destined, okay? This is all about destined to come to you. Or if you've walked away from something, this goodbye or this departure was absolutely destined for you to happen. It's going to require spiritual or emotional healing. The Five of Cups is a card of grief, okay? It's a card of losing something. It's a card of looking at some sort of circumstance could be a relationship could be something a falling out with a friendship could be something in the career that, or the business that hasn't been working out you're going to assess it this this first row here you're assessing the loss but you will heal from it underneath that grief card is solace is peace something that's written in the stars for you gemini so you have to lose this in order to gain something else, something better. And you might not see it now. In fact, you might still be in this emotional stage, still tied up with whatever it is that's been happening around you or will happen around in October. But I love that the star card is here because I feel like that, I feel like you are fated to lose something or walk away from it, if that makes any sense at all, or in October. There's some sort of detachment or departure that's, that, um, 
that was fated to turn out this way. And that's not to say you're losing it forever because the star card can bring renewal. Water is cleansing, water is renewal, and that can be restored for you because look behind you, you still have resources in the form of the Two of Cups. There possibly is a new romantic relationship that's destined to come into your path. So it could be a destined twin flame union uh, that's coming in around you, possibly around the end of October, or you might hear from this person in the end of October, and this is how you know it's all fated and it's all meant to be. Could also be people around you, resources, friends, um, colleagues, people that might be supporting your cause. Um, so whatever it is, it might be a tough beginning of the month and mid, but then you will toughen up, okay, because you've got the emperor here. And unless this is an Aries you're dealing with directly, there could be, for you ladies watching, there is a very strong dominant male that's coming in around you. Could be a father, could be a lover, it could be a brother, it could just be a friend, but there's someone who's going to give you a helping hand. Or they might be the person that tells you to leave a situation behind or tells you you're too good for it. In some way, this person wants to give you guidance. The emperor is in his position because of his judgment. He's in his position as the emperor because he's been elevated to this position. So if this is someone under the sign of an Aries who's trying to give you advice or trying to tell you to toughen up or showing you that they're tough and they can pull through, I think it's worth you listening to them or hearing them out in some capacity because I feel like they're emotionally trying to guide you and help you heal or help you walk away from a situation that is emotionally charged or isn't the most healthiest for you right now, Gemini. So just because it's not meant to be in October, that doesn't mean it's not meant to be forever or ever. Um, the Emperor, I really feel, is like a uh, is 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 someone that wants to apply logic and reason to you because the Emperor is divine masculine. You've got divine feminine here, so there's two very different um, th uh, methods of thinking, Gemini. And this might be us. Okay, we can be the twins. We can be dual. We do undergo different wavelengths and different thoughts. This could even be parents coming in or another couple that's around you, but they're trying to assist you in some way. But this emperor is trying to apply reason and logic. There's someone who's going to rationalize why they left your life or you're going to rationalize why you're leaving, going overseas, um, having epiphanies, you know, overcoming loss, whatever it is that's happening around you, gems, um, in the month of October. You also have cancer. So for some of you, there's a cancer coming back around with another offer um, or a cancer or a water sign, Pisces or Scorpio, who's going to surprise you in some way. You might hear from them unexpectedly. Um, they might start caring again, okay? Cancer card is sentimentality. It's nostalgia. It's feeling attached to something. It's caring about something. So there might be someone here who's going to show... Um, who's going to show you that they care about you or that, you know, they're still attached to you. This might be someone you've walked away from, Gems, but there is someone who still cares. The moon card is caretaking energy. It's compassion. It's empathy. Um, it's also a soft and motherly nurturing energy. So you might find that you're nurturing your emotions. You might find that there's someone here who's giving you empathy and showing you care and showering you with affection and this is someone you need to hold on to gemini because they're absolute there's absolutely a very beautiful reason as to why they're in your life but for a lot of you um this is uh, this middle column here could speak about creativity there could be an unexpected change you might have plans for the long term future the next 3 months 3 years okay the notion of 3 here um the 3 cups on top the 3 cups lined up here the 3 cups spilt here um, you might have long-term or short-term goals, but this is about to change, especially if it's creatively. So if you're a writer, if you're a designer, if you're in the creative realm, um, if you have a job that's quite creative, um, if you're seeking inspiration, you're going to get that. There's going to be an abundant amount of inspiration and it might lead to a lot of growth. This tree stands strong and tall. So the ideas or the creative pursuits you implement in October have the ability to grow sky high here and definitely be made in the public eye. The star card is fame, recognition, awareness, star quality, people knowing your name, having a reputation, putting your work out there to the world, um, stardom, fame. If you're, if you're seeking that, if you're chasing that, Gemini, if you're pursuing that, you can come into that because you're destined to come into acknowledgement or you're destined to align yourself with people that can bring you on that platform here. Um, advertising for a business, 
could even be an online romantic connection that forms here very unexpectedly. So online romances or you becoming attached more online uh, to someone who you've met online or at a distance. Okay, could be someone foreign. Um, you might hear from someone. I feel like media, messages, communication, texts. Um, I feel like there's going to be a genuine surprise here. There's the surprise in these two cards. Um, and it's going to be very confronting. The Emperor is confronting. You can't avoid it. It's going to happen. You're going to hear some sort of news or someone is going to reach out to you in the month of October. Um, and it's going to suddenly make you think differently about things. But there is a fated message or someone who is fated to be around you. It can definitely be someone under the sign of an Aquarius. Um, but it can also be renewal or healing. There might be someone who messed up with you. They messed up, Gemini, but they're back again. They're back again and they want solid union. I have a feeling you're hearing from this person at the end of October. I do. Or by the end of October, there's some sort of news. And it could be like um, what some psychologists call an indirect, direct approach. So basically, it's someone reaching out to you, not necessarily asking to see you or... Um, you know, they won't directly approach what they what the real intent is, but they'll be discreet about it or they'll be subliminal. So subliminal messages could come, but I have a feeling you're going to hear from someone. Um, you're going to be happy to hear about them, okay? It's going to make you feel happy, but there's also astrological compatibility here as well with the star card. Something written in the stars here for you, gems. Um, and it's, it's written in the stars in October. I think it's a very prominent month for you, and I think you'll see a lot of changes beautiful changes coming. I will leave it at that though.